Hello everyone, this is Adjuster Frank. I'm gonna do a short video. Um, something came up and I wanted to show you guys. What I'm doing is uh, I did a 10 gallon water change. I planned on doing a five, um, trying to get rid of the cyanobacteria. That down there, that storm is from my blending. He's still a pain. Um, over here, I was, it's hard to see. I got the blue lights on here. Let me turn off the lights. Still don't have my lights hooked up to the reef keeper. I don't know why I'm just, haven't had time, but anyways. Um, over here, I sucked off all the cyanobacteria, the red slime algae, if you will. Um, cleaned a lot off my sand bed. Ended up doing, um, taking 10 gallons out of the tank. So the tank looks pretty crappy right now just because of um, the storm that's in there. Uh, so another thing what I'm doing, I'm getting ready to leave to go out of town again. So I changed my uh, filter sock and I was cleaning out my um, protein skimmer. So let me take you over here to the sink. Um, so what I did this time is a lot of times I put my protein skimmer in or yeah my filter sock in the uh, in the um, wash machine but this time I wanted to turn it inside out and this is something I wanted to show you that came on my live rock um, this is called an isopod if you see one of these I was pretty amazed to find him in the filter sock if you see one of these in you have live rock and you see one of these in your tank make sure you get rid of it I've already gotten rid of one in the tank and I knew this one was in there someplace and I couldn't find him anymore that's because he was in the filter sock um, at night they'll come out and they'll be scurrying around you can catch them with a net you just use like I used my LED flashlight the last time and what these things do is they are not good for the fishes they will attach to the side of the fish then you have to try to scrape them catch the fish and scrape them off the scales of the fish or the sides of the fish they have they, they look almost like a like a little shrimp or something like that um, but they have these two big black eyes so if you see something like this they have a weird tail there and they're pretty quick in the tank um, I will say that so I'm glad I turned this inside out to find this guy um, there is actually more life in here um, if we look up here now I don't believe that where am I here sorry about that now I don't believe this is one I'm gonna do some more digging to find out what this is I, that might be an amphipod that I had and from the amphipods that I bought that went down in into the uh, overflow and out the filter sock in the inside of the filter sock so I'm gonna double check to see what that is um, quite a bit of debris in here that's why I turned it inside out uh, I know there was more sorry I don't have my tripod so this is kind of difficult I'm gonna look around on this and if I find more then I will be right back but if you see one of these I can't remember the name of the particular scientific name of the isopod but um, that's what it is so if I find something else here I'll be right back okay this is uh, Juster Frank and I'm back and um, I did find a few more um, isopods in the filter sock however I got rid of them because I couldn't tell if they were amphipods or isopods or what they were um, I didn't want them in the tank though or going any further so I got rid of them and what I did here was I, I pulled up reef keeping um, the website and there is a whole there's is a huge article on these um, isopods they're called Cirro landed I, I'm probably not even pronouncing it right um, isopods and this uh, website here and I don't have my tripod I apologize and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description bar to this website um, this particular article um, but in here it gives photos so there's the photos of the isopods and the one on the right actually I found one of them in there so I'm glad I threw them out anyways um, gives other links to other places where you can look up information on them wet web media which I go to quite often um, reef central has some links there uh, then here's a whole bunch of different isopods now it does say some are good and some are bad um, I think the one that I had was bad actually I know it was so here's some techniques on how to capture them thankfully I haven't had to do that 
Um, this is a huge article though. So I don't even know. I'm just scrolling all the way down to the bottom here. Um, there's some more. I don't know if they're good or bad. I haven't read the whole article, but uh, this might be something that you you want to do um, is go to this site. Um, it's reefkeeping.com. And like I said, I'll put the link in the address bar. Uh, go to this site, check out the um, the article in case you find any in your tank. And the only way you're going to see them is at night with a flashlight because they only come out at night. Um, so that's about it. I hope this helped anyone that might have seen these or didn't know what they were. Um, and that's about it for this video. And until next time, probably another week or so, and I'll have another video for you guys. I'll be leaving out of town. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got a couple of videos to upload now, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, if I don't speak to anyone, have a great Memorial Weekend, and we'll see everyone later. Thank you.